Hello guys, this is Rupesh and you're watching CBB Nuts video series on C++ and today's topic is introduction to the templates in C++ and I was on big vacation so many people were asking that why I'm not pushing videos for so long. So from today onwards you can expect videos. So the points are for templates and yeah this is going to be a very much introductory video of template. So there are two places where we can apply templates. First is function template and another one is class template. So remember this, either your function would act as a template or class and templates are the way to write generic programs. So this is an important point. Using templates, either it is function or class, we write generic programs. Generic means it will work for different different data types. You don't have to write the same program for different different data types. The idea is that. Okay. So third point is very important point. The main point is we pass data type as parameter. This is the key thing. Okay. We pass data type itself as parameter to function or class and that's how it becomes generic. So whenever someone is talking about templates, you just have to keep one thing in your mind that there will be either a function or a class and you will be passing the data type inside function and class. So when you are creating a class or using that class, you generally don't give or pass data type, right? I mean, when you are using some base class like this base B, then you are just using this base and creating the object of that. You don't pass anything or stuff like that. But when you create, I mean, call function, so like fun and you pass few parameters, right? So instead of these parameters, you will pass data type also and we'll see how to pass data type inside functions and when you are creating object of some class. Okay, so I'll be taking example of a max function, which is a traditional example to understand this topic. So let's jump to the program and start coding. So now if I tell you that I have two numbers, integer x and y, they are initialized with some value, y is initialized with 20 and now I'm telling you create a function which will tell you which one is greater than another one okay so that function could be get max so here you will pass x and y and you can just simply print this get max cool right so let's create that function we will be returning integer get max it will take integer x integer y and from here we will return the bigger one so return if x is greater than y then return x otherwise i is y so this is our function correct so let's compile this and check that 20 so 20 is the bigger one so if you will make it let's make it 180 and compile it again you will be getting 180 so this function is working now what if i say you that let's have another one like character c is equal to and you have another character c2 and that is maybe x and now you have to compare these two and you want to find that which one is the bigger one either c i mean make it c1 either c1 is big or c2 is big so you wanted to find which one is bigger so the problem is similar what this function is doing but it is doing with integer x and integer y but you want it with characters so you will end up doing or creating another function similarly you will copy and paste this here and we'll just simply change the data type right character character and character and here you are saying that get max integer okay so let's change the name and here you are saying that get max character and c1 comma c2 and let's change this name make it get max character and this one should be get max integer so we got two functions but actually they are doing the same thing and yeah one more thing this will return a ascii value of this character so let's type cast that into character so static cast character and done let's compile this okay see this one is giving 180 because it is bigger one and x is the bigger than a so it is returning x so till now we are good but 
what you if you have so many data types like maybe 10 or 20 data types to compare with then you have to repeatedly create these functions again and again even though they are doing similar thing so here comes the template template says that keep only one function so just remove this second one and give it as a generic name so like get max and instead of defining these types you define a template type so the syntax goes like this you have to write template then you have to write type name and then t so this you can write anything so generally we, we write it like t and this is your type so just replace everything with this capital t here everything means types so now you can see that you have this get max function this t and this t is nothing but this t and this function is a template function now i'll tell you what it means by being a template function so first let's call that function so just remove this max here and as i said you will be passing the data type to this function so that the data type will be replaced here okay so the syntax of passing the data type is like this you have to write it like this you are saying that i am calling this get max and this get max will treat this t as integer so this x and y will be treated as integer here and the return type is also integer similarly if you are calling this get max on character then just simply write it character then you are saying that now this time get max will catch this character here in this t and then we will replace all these three t with character so let's compile and check whether this is working or not see it is working as it is so no need to write so many different different functions just because you wanted to pass different different data types okay maybe this time this character and integer is not a great example because character can be typecasted internally into integer but it will be very big advantage if you are using it on user defined data types like structs i mean structure and classes and you have overloaded this greater than on your class and that i will show you in future that how exactly it will give you the benefit when you are using it for user defined data types now you might be asking the question like how it is doing that so actually when you are compiling this code your compiler is creating two function out of this function let me give you the example for that so as i said it will be creating two functions for this so the functions would exactly look like this but this t will be replaced with their respective data types so if you are calling this get max with integer then it will create it like this integer so you can see that it will replace everything with integer and if you are calling the same get max with character then it will replace i mean create another function so this is one function this is another function and it will be similar function with characters here like this so there is no difference it is exactly what you did without template you remember you created two different functions with only different different data types first you created integer one and then you created for character and one more thing compiler creates these functions at compile time so whenever compiler will encounter something like this get max then it will check okay what is this data type then it will create a different function of this data type and it will check whether all the operations whatever we are doing inside this function with this data type i mean this data type is valid then only it will create this function and start compiling forward but if it is not able to compile i mean create this function with this data type because you are doing some operation which is not allowed with particular data type then it will fail at that line only and yes as you can see that if you are using this get max with character then only it will create this function let's suppose if you are not using this get max with this character data type then it will not create this function let's suppose there is another line where you are using not character 
double then it will create the same function with double data type here so the main logic of template is you pass the data type and this is the way of passing data type in function templates so i hope you have learned what is function templates and i know this was a very basic video so i have not explained too much inside this but if you're interested in templates please watch my other videos and if you have any doubt please let me know thanks for watching bye bye i'll see you in the next videos and yeah don't forget to hit the like button because it will help me a lot